when I'm doing um, recreational picking at home, uh, this caddy sits on my desk and in here are, um, again, Andrew Law, uh, Law Lock tools, uh, picks. Um, I've got the uh, Jimmy Longs on the left hand side here. In the middle is the, uh, the multi-pick range. Um, this is where the Mad Bobs and the uh, Dangerfield uh, Praxis live. Um, there's some more uh, generic non-handled um, picks on the corner there. And, uh, and obviously every tension tool you can imagine under the sun. Um, so this is what I generally use when I'm at home picking. But uh, even having this to my dis at my disposal, there are certain locks that are always difficult to open. So there was a gap in my mind for a set of picks that would enable me to uh, fine tune my picking and be able to open um, locks that are very tricky to navigate through their warding and uh, and have a very extreme key pitting so uh, this uh, it leads me on to the uh, range of picks that we really need to be talking about so let's start to talk about these picks that i'm really excited about these um three that you see in front of you i've had for about a month now and they have been used extensively on my channel to open just about every lock uh, with a lot of success i, I have to uh, i hasten to add um, so these are the uh, monkey lock picks and well what's particularly special about these well let me just introduce three other ones to the frame which are exactly the same as these but they haven't got the scales on the handles are missing now these uh, picks are in um, half a millimeter or uh, 19 thousandths of an inch um, thickness and it's in what they call a high yield steel. Um, the handles are slightly larger and they are symmetrical compared to um, a lot of other picks that are out on the market. And I have to say they really are quite um, comfortable in the hand and easy to use uh, but the also these when these picks are have gone the distance and you don't need them anymore these actual handle scales are secured with three screws and they can be undone uh, taken off and put onto the next set of uh, uh, picks that you buy so um, so basically the scales are reusable which is uh, which is brilliant um, one of the things that really stands out with this lock picking set is that they are mirror finished. The polish on these picks is just uh, amazing. So they go through a, a, a really um, extensive polishing and tumbling process. And, uh, and you end up with this mirror finish uh, look to the, uh, to the actual metal, medical grade, I would say virtually. Um, all of the edges are rounded and uh, really smooth. Uh, they're very, very smooth when you put them inside a lock and uh, nothing snags. They just feel um, just absolutely perfect uh, when you're navigating them through um, and reaching for, uh, for, for pins in awkward places. And then what you'll also notice is that you have a pick on one end but um, the designer decided to put a second pick on what would normally just be a, a, a blank piece of metal on the scale. So you are effectively getting two picks for the price of one. So if you, or if as and when you destroy this end of the pick, you can unscrew the handle, you can reverse it around, and then you can use the other end of the pick, which is just fantastic. I mean. Um, what a great what a great way of uh, utilizing the metal in the handle and offering you something unique and a, and a better uh, experience when it comes to uh, using uh, the picks 
And finally, these, despite the, the mirror finish, the, the, the high polish on them, the extra pick, um, the, sc the, the scale that can be uh, taken off and put on other picks, um, these are very reasonably priced. And uh, in the United Kingdom, they are um, solely uh, distributed by UK lock pickers. And uh, a quick visit to, that, to, um, to their website will show you the pricing on these picks. And I think uh, once you've seen it, you will then agree that they are incredibly uh, competitive and um, really very much worth the money. So let's have a look at the uh, hooks uh, in this set first. And the, uh, they can be split basically into four groups, as you can see in front of you. Um, the scales on these are black, and that's because these are the, the uh, prototype, if you like, picks that I've been running for the last month. Um, I do have green handles for them, but uh, I quite like the black ones. The green, nothing wrong with the green ones, but I do like the black ones as well, so I'm going to keep them like that. Um, so they can be split effectively into, into these four groups. So the ones that I've been using on the left here are the flat hook set. So they're slightly flattened on the ends and um, they come in three different uh, sizes or three different uh, depths there. Uh, and then the next set in are almost identical, but they are the rounded ends. So you've got the hooks with flats and you've got the hooks with round. Um, depending on how you prefer and what you need to, uh, to put in your lock to reach um, the pins, um, both of them work equally as effectively in, as far as I'm concerned. These are the game changer these four picks here, because they are the pointed hook set, and there's four of those, and they are just totally uh, changed the way that I'm picking uh, one star and three star locks with really awkward bitting. Um, the shanks are quite thin, the, um, the tips are, are very thin and pointy, uh, and obviously as you can see, you've got the four different heights there, and they are perfect for setting back pins or deep pins where you have a, 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 a pin in front that's effectively guarding the one behind. Really, really making a massive difference to opening locks. So for example, um, things like uh, the Yale one star lock with notoriously difficult uh, um, warding to uh, get through and uh, always uh, interesting uh, bitting on the keys. These have made a massive difference, even if you were to just buy those as a supplement to your existing um, lock, pit set, lock pick set. Um, they are the picks that truly are creating a, a, a big, big difference in the way that I'm picking those awkward locks. And then finally on the right here, um, these are uh, again, rounded hooks, but they have what they call extra shank. So they are slightly thicker, um, and, I, and I would imagine they're stronger. So these would be pretty good for bullying open quite a lot of locks, um, where the, uh, uh, the warding isn't so critical and you're able, to, um, you're able to apply just a bit more pressure or direct pressure on top of the pins to, uh, to get the open. But yeah, a very comprehensive set of hooks. All of them um, are, are uh, again, beautifully polished in 19 thousandths of an inch, uh, half mil. So they, so they are uh, flexible. But um, if you look at these, I've been using these and I'm not light all of the time when I'm picking and, uh, and I'm yet to, to, uh, to bend those or to break them or damage them. They really are lasting and, and going the distance. So the next three picks in this range of Moki picks um, are the diamonds. So you have the uh, classical um, half diamond on the left, and then you've got uh, two sets of uh, DeForest di uh, half diamonds. So if you like to use these for um, your lot picking, again, you get all the advantages of, of, the, uh, of the finish on these picks uh, and the strength, but also the uh, 
the thinner material, making them very easy to use. Um, I don't use uh, DeForest diamonds myself, uh, not very often, but uh, I will certainly be giving these a go and seeing uh, how they perform in the locks. And finally, there are three wave rakes inside this uh, set, uh, double, triple and uh, quad peak um, wave rakes. Uh, and uh, well, if you look into get a quick uh, force set on the lock, then why not? Uh, these would be ideal for doing that job. Um, but uh, not everybody's cup of tea, but they are optional. And uh, yeah, they do the job just as well as uh, any other rake. So here we can see my uh, entire journey from my uh, first um, hook pick to what I'm now going to consider to be the only lock pick uh, hook that I'm going to be using for the vast majority of the uh, difficult locks that I face uh, when I'm opening um, professionally and uh, and also for fun. So uh, yeah, what a, what a journey and uh, what an amazing set of picks these are. Thank you.